Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. We have another mail day and more <laughs> more unbelievable care packages. Um, uh, I'm so, uh, I don't know. I, I don't even have to say anymore. It, it's really uh, tumbling. It's uh, like I'm running out of superlatives here. I, I, I don't know. It's the generosity of this community is beyond anything I've I've ever, I've ever seen. Um, uh, it, it makes Santa Claus jealous. I mean, that's probably the best way to put it. Um, I just want to start off with a purchase I made. I actually, I get the emails from Tops, and I, I haven't really looked lately, but for some reason, I decided to take a look and open it, and I saw, uh, don't talk to robots. Got a cool strawberry uh, Project Seventy card. So then I saw this, and the email I was like, oh man, I was like, I need to get it. So I picked this, uh, this guy up. Such a cool, <laughs> the kid, you know, b before Griffey, it was uh, it was Gary Carter, and I think it's cool how they have a uh, the cat backwards on there, you know, to signify that, uh, you know, there it is, the kid number eight. So this is a very cool card. That is awesome. Very cool. So happy to pick that one up. So let's get to the awesome care packages and speaking of don't talk to robots Doug his channel's fairly new and he's already almost up to 200 subs he's killing it. he's doing uh, he's doing great and uh, I had met Andy before his uh, through his brother's channel Flying Dutchman Cards if you haven't checked them out check them out wonderful uh, both wonderful guys with great channels and uh, just awesome and Andy just became the number one super collector of Andreas Thomas cards. So here's a package from Doug. He sent these two. Oh, green tape. The wars continue. Another one for for Scott. Hey, Dan, thanks so much for the cards you sent my way. Still haven't had a chance to open it. Up on camera, but I hope soon. Um, I know these aren't super valuable, but I hope you enjoy. Thanks again for your generosity and keep on rocking. Doug, don't talk to robots. PSDT2, our card is... A sticker. Oh, nice. Very cool. Uh, like I said, I love... Oh, look at that. Harmony. Blue and green. Look at you. Are you playing both sides? <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get these open. And it doesn't have to be super valuable, Doug. I mean, listen, any time someone sends me anything, it means the world to me. So, And if they're, if they're Mets, they're priceless. <laughs> And if they're Carters, even more so, or Piazzas. Those two are my boys. Boom, there's that sticker. I love it. I mean, uh, hologram. Very cool. Don't talk to robots. And there he is. Trying to get a hold of him. He's awesome. And both both he and Andy are talented. I mean, Andy made these custom cars. They're just unbelievable. I would love to get one of those. It was just unbelievable. He made them for Scott and Raider Studios, Tony Black, for and uh, Eddie's baseball autographs for their two-year uh, brouhaha. They were unbelievable. There's Johnny Franco, Mook, 89 Flair. There he is, 88 Tops, 89 Flair, 90 Flair, Gary Carter, Expos. So at the end of his career, he retired with the, the Spos. Mook, always love Mook. There's with the Dodgers. He was teammate to Eddie Murray at that time, and they were both inducted in 03 together. Sport flicks, very cool. The doctors and Chad, and there he is with the uh, Giants. I remember uh, when he was traded to the Giants. When I traded, you know, his, his career was over with the Mets, and, and he went to San Fran, they signed him, and still rooted for him. It was... Uh, Definitely hard to see. I mean, all the injuries, being a catcher, all those games he caught. It's unbelievable. It's 89 Donner's team set. Jeffries. Myers. Hojo. Mojita. Keith. Darling. The doctor. And finally, the man, the legend. That is cool. The Grominator. That's a cool looking card. Top Chrome. Darling. El Keith, El Capitan, sorry. Oh, nice. That is awesome. That's freaking gorgeous, man. Thanks, Doug. These are awesome, man. I can't thank you enough. And you sent more goodies. Uh-oh. Last stash here. You didn't have to 
You have to do this, buddy. <laughs> yes, look at that. 89 tops rack with Gary, the legendary Gary Carter on top. That is fantastic. This is awesome, man. That is so awesome. <laughs> and Steve, seriously, don't let Andy see that. He's going to get upset. I know he wants this one for his PC. He's going to start super collecting seriously, I think, next. And there it is. That's awesome, man. Thank you, buddy. I really, I really appreciate it, man. That is awesome. Those are fantastic, so thank you. All right, so next up, we have a package from our buddy JW Cards. This is a huge package here. <laughs> so let's see what goodies. And Jordan's over at JW Cards. Uh, I know many of you have seen his channel. If you haven't, check it out. He gets some awesome TTMs. And honestly, when I first started doing I've always wanted to do this and just never knew how to go about doing it. Even as a kid, I had no idea. So I was in some live streams. I know BITG, you know, and, you know, bought some buy-ins and stuff. Really good time. And that's where I met Jordan. And Jordan would always comment like, hey, this guy signs, that guy signs. And I'm like, holy cow, I need to, <laughs> I need to start asking questions. So Jordan and, and Michael Myers were the two guys that I, I harassed. And Papa J as well, he actually got Garvey back. And I asked him for Garvey's address. And he, he helped me out and gave me the address. And that was my first baseball TTM actually with Steve Garvey. But I, I bothered Michael Myers and Jordan all the time with uh, email questions and where they got their addresses. And they were both gracious uh, enough to Hall of Famer Michael Myers. And they're both nice enough to, you know, deal with me and answer all my questions. So I really, I really appreciate it. So, you know, thank you so much for sending this, Jordan. Um, I should be sending you stuff. I'm going to see what I can send back to you. But <laughs> look at this note. My dude, what is going on, sir? The paper, this note is printed out. Most likely... Be better in the package. I'll stop. This letter spoils what's inside, so you might want to read it after. All right, so we'll read it after. Let's take a look. Oh, oh how how fitting that would have been knocking that over, huh, Mr. Myers? <laughs> He's known for knocking over the camera. So there we go. A gnome. That's very cool. Oh man, look at that. There we go. A couple of stack. Any, and there's one more big stack here, so we'll get to that. So let's take a look at these. I can already see this is going to be good. Already by who's on top. The legend there. Ah, Mike. After Gary Carter came Mike, I was a huge fan. Especially because we look, we actually resemble each other. And my nickname in college was actually Piazza. And people actually think that was my last name, which was pretty funny. So that was my nickname. The first time I was a teacher in high school. He was a Dodgers fan. He's like, you know who you look like? I'm like, who, Wade Boggs? I had a mustache going and everything. He's like, no, you look like Mike Piazza. <laughs> so it was the first time I ever, ever got that, and that, uh, that stuck. So my nickname was uh, Piazza for forever. It was so funny. So I'm a big fan of Mike. Mike and Carter are the top two. Nice CRA2 flair. Oh, nice Sean Green. Nice card. Shout out to our buddy... Sean Tiford, Jeff Kent, nice, Straw, Kevin Mitchell, that is awesome, Larry, Media Marauder, Turk Wendell, nice, dude, this is fantastic, I've been wanting to send to him, and I only have Cubs cards, I can't, I can't find any Mets cards, so this is going out, man, thank you so much, and I got to hang out with his college coach uh, a few months ago, well, uh, before the pandemic, so it was really more than a few months ago. I can't believe how much time flies. But the college coach that recruited him, he told me some great stories, so great listening to baseball stories. But Turk Wendell's coach in college, also who recruited him, was also Jeff Bagwell's college coach, which was uh, pretty cool. So I got to spend some time. We have mutual friends, so I got to hang out with him. It was fantastic. Such a great time. Oh, Joe. So thanks for sending that. Bam, Anthony Young, McDowell, Gil Flores. So nice young blood. Played in uh, for two different teams on the same day. John Stearns, nice. OPG, now with the Indians. Oh, man. McDowell. Ron Hodges, nice. 74. Is that his rookie? Yeah. I'll have to send that one out. Ray Serge. <laughs> There's the Alvaro Mets. Look at that, Sean. Eat your heart out. 
I mean, Sean Scott. Eat your heart out, Scott. Sean Graham's in my head. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice Alvera. That's an Alvera I can get behind. Oh, nice. <sighs> These are beautiful. 80 tops. 86 Donruss. That is awesome. Larry the Medium Marauder just got this back. The autograph. He purchased it. Oh, 79 Seaver. Oh, <laughs> there it is. That's an awesome card. I always love this card. Holy cow. Is that 64? Stangle and Crane Pull. Wow. That's amazing, dude. That would look beautiful signed by Eddie Crane Pool. Man, I'm going to have to send that bad boy out. That's amazing. Thanks, man. It's, oof. I might run out of uh, time here. Let me go through these. These are awesome. Look at this. And this one's autographed. That is cool. Ashburn, Richie Ashburn, Hall of Famer. Jim Hickman. Gil Hodges, man. A legend. I'm not sure why he's not in the hall. Al Jackson. Felix Mantia. These are awesome. I don't have any of these, by the way. Bob Miller. There's a legend. Frank Thomas. I want to send to him again. And when I first started signing, he was one of the first that I sent out to Roger Craig. No longer signs. That would have been awesome. Jay Huck. Awesome. I just got him back. There's a team card. Choo Choo Coleman. I don't know if he signs. I know he was at a show probably a year or so ago. Where's the roughing? Short twice. That's awesome, man. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so I just took out the rest of uh, what he had in that other package, man. Oh, my God, dude. All these items are from when I was a misinformed child. The horror of being a Mets fan. Come on. Holy cow, man. That's an awesome photo of Mr. Cranepool. That is freaking amazing right there. That is awesome. That's a great drawing. And there's Doc. Wow. Cool plastics. I really like that one, Chad. And then he also included... Mike Fitzgerald. I've been wanting to send to him. I don't even know if he TTMs. I, I haven't looked. But I did pull a few of his cards. I'm a big fan of the 85 Flare set. That is freaking <laughs> awesome. 92 yearbook. You know, I actually collect the yearbooks, and I don't have these years. Oh, my God. Look, there's some more in here. Dude, you're amazing, Jordan. You didn't have to do Mike Hampton. Oh, my God. Oh my God, Tam Tommy Ag, are you serious? I always wanted Ag's auto. This is amazing, man. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. Go Mike Hampton, and I know who this is. Ugh. I'm gonna have to. You'll have to tell me, but I know I'm embarrassed, but I should know who that is. Like the name of the tip of my tongue. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> Bobby Bell, Torborg, Sabes, Eddie Murray, 82 yearbook. I love these yearbooks. 91. That's old Shay. I love it. I love it. Jeffries, Doc, McReynolds, Franco. Who's that? Dave Magadan and David Cohen right there. And the 1989. Now, this is awesome. I do have a, the first game I went to was 1985, and I do have that yearbook. 86 yearbook, of course. Gary Carter was still there. Sam Perlazzo. Oh, my God. I remember all these coaches. Buddy Harrelson. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun looking at this. Jordan, thank you, man. I can't, uh, I cannot thank you enough, buddy. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Let's, uh, I'm going to run out of time on, on here. So let me read this really quick. So most of the items contained in this package were obtained uh, by me as a misinformed child. When I was growing up, my dad owned a deli convenience store in New York and was given box seat season tickets at Shea for years by Nabisco Company. That's amazing, man. I went to a lot of Mets games. Little did I know how bad being a Mets fan was mentally for a grown man, let alone a seven or eight-year-old child. <laughs> if I knew then what I know now, I feel like I might have taken a different path in life. If I didn't subject my <laughs> still forming brain to those Mets games. Oh, jeez. Around eight years old, I started... Started watching the Yankees on WPX 1011, which I listen. I love baseball, and I would watch that as well. And I remember, you know, listening to Scooter Seaver, you know, 
uh, George Grant. I, also, I got to meet him. He did a lot of Yankee games. He's a Connecticut guy. He's a phenomenal guy. And when I met um, Wendell's and Bagwell's college coach, it was through him, actually. They're, they're all friends. So it's a, it's a real great baseball community. Uh, around eight years old, I started watching. Uh, I wasn't quite advanced mentally to take care of myself <laughs> Years as a Mets fan, and my parents would let me stay home alone all day in New Jersey because they had a day out of town in New York, going to a game, and then out for dinner somewhere. So your parents were smart. They went to Mets games. The Mets programs, I fat since I was a kid. I recently found them in a box, and as soon as I saw them, I knew I needed to send them to my childhood friend. I asked him if he wanted them. The exact words were, I don't want that trash. I really thought of you once he said that. <laughs> I bet Dan Mets rule Will Pond would. Uh, I also included a New York Mets uh, troll figure. I don't know. That's the correct word to describe that. I've also had since a kid. I used to be displayed on my childhood dresser until the fateful day that I put it on my desk drawer and replaced it with a Don Mattingly starting lineup. So I didn't keep that Mattingly starting lineup, but they keep the troll. Take that for what it's worth. Also, the troll figure is selling eBay for 12 to 15 Holy cow. That's insane. And, uh, the Doc and Daryl picks, I remember buying at a card show along with the Mattingly, which I found with them. Certainly did not send to you of all people. They had a crane pool postcard. It's true vintage. Not sure from when. Unfortunately, the ball doesn't deflate or else I would have been able to envelope it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I also enclosed the Mets cards I think you'll enjoy. Sorry, my timer's going to run out. There was also a 62 Mets team. I'm not going to go. There's one autograph card, Mario Thurnberg, he died in 94, the two auto fluids. Glendon Rush, dang it, I knew it. I got them in mid-spring training last season, just before it was shut down. That's all I got for you. Enjoy at least one thing out of the pack is me popping bubbles up. <laughs> That's my second page. Can't wait for you to read this entire during your video. <laughs> Hopefully you don't lose viewers due to my ramblings. Well, I'm rambling myself, man. Thanks for the great content. I hope you had a few laughs. Of course I did, man. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done. And all you guys, this is awesome, man. The letter alone, man. I would have loved a letter. Don't get me wrong. Uh, thank you so much, man. JWs, you, you're awesome, just like everyone else. Thank you so much. Don't talk to robots. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And like, comment, subscribe. And I don't know.